What's the best vlogging camera for 2019? Let's find out, guys. Welcome everybody to another video, it's Mikey, that camera guy, and today we're going to be talking about the Canon M50. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because I've owned this camera now for a few weeks, and I've been able to take it out into the field, I've been able to use it, and I feel that I have used it enough to at least make this video for you guys. The Canon M50 is the perfect vlogging camera of 2019, and not 2018, because this camera did arguably come out in the beginning of 2018, but I'm saying 2019. I believe every camera deserves to have six months to one year of testing. This camera has now been out for a year and I believe it's the perfect time to buy one. So Canon has fixed every little issue that they could with the camera since it first came out. Whether it be software glitches, mechanical issues, anything that went wrong with this camera, Canon has most likely found it and fixed it by this time. So if you are to buy one now, it probably has all those issues that you first saw when it came out fixed, which is incredible. The Canon M50 is a great little vlogging camera. Notice how I said little, it's a small camera. That's perfect for vloggers. If you're gonna be using a big, big camera, your hand is gonna get tired. Your arm is gonna get tired. You're not gonna wanna carry it around, especially if you have a tripod. If you have to walk around with it for more than 15 minutes, that camera is gonna get heavy. I'm gonna give you guys an example. I made a few videos originally with the Canon 70D. My arm was super duper tired. After literally only a minute of holding it up, you can't hold up a Canon 70D for hours on end. Fast forward a couple months and the Canon M50 comes into play. So I bought this camera and I started using it immediately for vlogging. I took it out into the field. You guys saw that one video where I did the review and the comparison between the Panasonic Lumix S1 and the Panasonic Lumix S1R. The 188 megapixel camera and the 96 megapixel camera. Brand new. I did that entire video in 15 minutes. I recorded it in 15 minutes. I was walking around holding it up and this camera is incredibly light. So 15 minutes, yes, my arm did start to get tired, but if I was to be using the Canon 70D, my arm would have been even more tired after only five minutes of using. The Canon 70D, I believe, is about twice as heavy as the Canon M50. And this camera is only like two pounds, whereas that one is an incredible like four or something like that. It's super heavy, especially with a big bulky lens. Now, luckily, the Canon M50 comes with a light, small 15 to 45 millimeter lens. And if you guys have never held the lens before or taken it off the camera, go to your local photo store or go to your local Best Buy and see if they have this in stock. Look at how tiny the lens is. It is minuscule. It is the smallest lens I've ever seen. You could probably compare it to the Canon 50 millimeter prime. If you guys have ever seen that, it's tiny. You can go on YouTube, you could look up videos for that. But let's get back to the point, guys. So the Canon M50 also has a lot of upsides to it when compared to other cameras. So say you wanted to record on a higher quality camera. Say you wanted that 1080p 60 FPS, or say you even wanted that 4K. Well, guess what, guys? This camera can do 4K. This camera can do 1080p. This camera can do 720p at 120 frames per second. 1080p at 60 and 4K at 24. That's incredible. The ability to do 4K is becoming more of a norm. Yes, I understand understand that. But the fact that this tiny little $550, $600 camera can do 4K, it has all the abilities of a bigger camera in a smaller form factor for a lot cheaper, make this camera a huge buy over any other camera that I've seen. If you're going to be using this one for photography, I also want to talk this camera because it's incredible for photography. If you're going to be using it in low light, it's not the best, but it's decent. You can make do doing concert shoots, doing weddings. If you needed to use this camera, it's incredible. I myself bought one of those little extenders to allow myself to mount any other EF or EFS lens onto this camera. Whereas you needed an EFM lens originally, I now bought the EF to EFM mount, which is really, really nice to have. It's only $50, so it's a really cheap price, much cheaper than an actual lens, you don't need to spend a ton of money to get really good quality out of this tiny little vlogging camera. Another thing, the UI is very simple. You're not going to be taking a Canon camera and not knowing how to use it after 20 minutes of using. I set this thing up in 5 minutes and immediately knew what I was doing. Arguably, I came from a Canon 70D, but when I bought my Canon 70D, I knew how to use it within 20 minutes, guys. It was super easy, super simple. You need to just understand what an f-stop is. You need to understand how shutter speed works. And after learning those things, this camera's a breeze. 
Now I am gonna name a downside. It's the battery. You guys have all heard that the battery life on the Canon M50 is not great. I'm gonna kind of argue that. I've used this thing now to make four YouTube videos. Each of them I might record 10 to 15 minutes of footage, cut it down to about five or 10. Now after about an hour of total recording and doing a photo shoot, I'm still at full battery. This thing I would have to say, if you're gonna be using it for photography or video, can last you a couple hours pretty easily. And if you're gonna be doing a wedding, just throw two extra batteries in the bag. They're maybe 30 bucks, pretty cheap, and you're gonna be making that money back really quick if you're doing photography or video. This thing only has one SD card slot. Luckily, you can plug in a microphone though. You can use an external microphone or you could use the built-in mic. I prefer to use an external, which I'm using right now. I'm using the Rode Video Mic Go, and I think it's a great little microphone for the price. So if you're gonna be using this thing for vlogging, it's great. Now I do have one more downside. The camera itself is a little bit cheap. The buttons feel kind of sticky and get stuck sometimes a little bit, but other than that, they're not terrible. They're not the greatest feeling. If you were to pick up a Canon 70D and then a Canon M50, you would have to say that the Canon 70D is a much more rugged system. You could throw that thing at a wall and you're pretty sure it'll be able to take it. If you threw this little camera at a wall, I know it'll break. It's cheap feeling plastic. Now, it's not the cheapest, but it definitely is cheap. So if you were to recommend a camera that's really, really tough and rugged, this is not the one. I would have to recommend something bigger like the Canon 70D or the Canon 80D, only because I've used them and I know how they feel. For vlogging, this thing can do a lot in a tiny little package. So thank you guys all for watching. It's been Mikey. Peace, guys.